Real progress is being made now that the hatchery at the Konequat Preserve has been updated and back in operation. The Idlar fly fishers have been instrumental in the last eight years working to get this place reopened. Uh, we're very excited that everything looks to be going very well right now. Uh, and in about uh, 12 months, uh, these fish will be ready to be stocked in the river. We're really looking forward to you know, having a successful first crop of fish. Uh, it's probably going to be a total of 12 to 14 months before the rainbow trout that we're raising now are sufficiently large to uh, stock in the river. Um, and we are hopeful that the disease surveillance testing that will be mandatory uh, before these fish go out to the raceways uh, will show no evidence of any uh, of any of the so-called diseases of concern. The trout have gone from being sack fry to being fingerlings, which means they went from an average length of slightly over half an inch to currently they're running slightly over two inches apiece. The trout right now are big enough that at some point in the next three weeks or so, 60 of them will be volunteering to go to a disease testing lab to see whether or not they test positive for IPN in particular. Assuming they manage to test negative, which I have no doubt they will test negative, those fish will then be held in the raceway for 30 days after the test is, no, the test is started until we get the results in 30 days. And then after that 30 day period is up and everything is fine, that's when the fish can first go into the outside ponds. Right now, we, we're feeding the fish anywhere between four to eight times a day. That's why they, they're growing so well. I'm in the process now of splitting them up to 2,000 fish to a trough, which will also increase the weight they grow at. And I'm hoping that they're growing basically an average of about an, close to an inch a month. So we're hoping that we'll be able to continue that growth rate, which means we'll have nine to 10 inch fish sometime by quick count, probably February. So far we've talked about the rainbow, rainbow eggs and rainbow trout fingerlings that are in the hatchery now. The plan right now is in uh, October, we will have brown trout eggs coming in. Those will be eyed up and ready to go. It should take no longer than about seven days for them to go from eyed eggs to hatch. And then in December, the plan is to bring in uh, some brook trout eggs. They'll come in from another hatchery. Um, the, brown, the brown trout eggs will come in from the DEC hatchery. And then those will be growing pretty much at the same time. Well, what it means is that we will now no longer be dependent on buying fish from outside sources. We'll be able to buy fertilized eggs from outside sources that are free of disease, raise them here, uh, and we should have an ample number of fish not only to stock the river, uh, but also to share with other places. From the fish hatchery at the Konequat River Preserve, I'm Tim C. Smith for SkimmerOutdoors.com.